but uh, next turn I swing in with everything and then I can blow up the uh, Day of Judgment. So he, un or so he tapped his blue, so that means he obviously doesn't have an unsummon, or else he's just, you know, tapping out. So I can Day of Judgment here. Um. Ooh, totally forgot about the milling. Yeah, I'm going to mill three. That puts me down to nine. Uh, what did I lose? O-Ring, Phantasmal Dragon, and stuff. Well, maybe that was the wrong play, because... I'm not too worried about any of this, and I do have a two-turn clock. Huh. Think, think, think. So what happens if he has a titanic growth? He just flat-out wins. You know what? I think I'm going to use the Day of Judgment right now. I can play the Assault Griffin next turn, and he probably doesn't have too much left in the tank. Rune Claw's fine. Aether Depth's a good one. Um, let's see, I'm just going to go with the Assault Griffin here. Next turn I can play the Griffin and the Aether Adept. Troll Hide, yuck. Okay, well, I'm not going to block, so if he has the uh, t Titanic Growth, I just die. But we're going to run with it. Okay, so. Did not have the Titanic. And we have an Adept. Yep, super good for us. And we'll play out the Griffin. No need to play out the land. Keep him guessing on that one. Oh, he has unsummon. Okay, that's fine. We still have a few creatures. Well, that's no fun. He drew an Aven Fleetwing. Uh, we're still pretty good here. Especially since we drew another flyer. No reason not to attack. We'll, we'll trade with for a bear. Right now we just need to put some pressure on since we're dead in a few turns. Oh, my computer's starting to run slow. I might have to restart after this. Next turn, we're just going to swing all out with the air. Looter, yeah, that's fine. Aegis Angel. <laughs> a sick top deck. We're just going to make the Assault Griffin unblockable. Or, I mean, not unblockable. Uh, indestructible here. Swing, swing, swing. I guess he could have another unsummon, which would trade for the Assault Griffin when he blocks, or when he bounces the Angel. Alright, so it doesn't have it. He's going to take four here, and then he's lethal, or he's just dead to the Aegis Angel, as well as the Assault, or I mean the Griffins. Yep, alright. Goes to four. Now he needs to find something pretty sweet with the looter. Uh, he does have mind control, probably, so. Well, I, I can't even say that for sure. I guess Frost Breath would save him a turn. Yeah, Frost Breath would save him for a little while. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, Stinger Fling Spider. That would be a good one. <laughs> I think I just lose to Stinger Fling Spider. Interesting note. Oh, never mind. It's just for as long as you control. So if he has the Mind Control and the Aegis Angel, then um, I lose Indestructibility on the Griffin. We'll see what happens. He's taking some time to, to think. Turns out Flyers are pretty good. Alright, guys. So we got the game. He didn't have anything left in the tank. Ooh, 
We have not seen Alabaster Mage yet, but uh, yeah. Anyways, we're 2-0 so far for this four-round daily M12 event. Uh, we'll see you guys for, I guess, round three. Yep. Alrighty, folks, we're here for round three of this daily uh, M12 seal event. Opponent's chosen to play first and mold, and yeah, we have a pretty good hand. Got the Griffin Rider and a Griffin and an Armored Warhorse and some other sweet stuff. Let's hope we draw something, something else sweet. All right, hmm. So we have the decision, I suppose, of pondering first turn or getting our Armored Warhorse out. And I think I'm just going to go with the Armored Warhorse. That sets us up with a turn three Griffin Rider as well as Ponder. And so uh, things are looking pretty good. And now we even have a dragon to drop. <laughs> Ooh, our opponent is stuck on two land. So this should be a fairly easy win. Um, gonna go ahead and ponder first, see what we can come up with. Ooh, some good stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna shuffle our library. Gonna go ahead and play the Griffin Rider, and the next turn we can play the Griffin, or Assault Griffin. And, uh, Oh, I take that back. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and lay out the Phantasmal Dragon then. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to lay out the Elite Vanguard and the Stormfront Pegasus. Uh, that way, if he has any removal, he's more likely to use it on this, and then when I drop the dragon, he's uh, more likely to be out of cards. Because <laughs> ideally you want to drop this guy, um, you know, when your opponent's used quite a bit of removal already. Uh, that way, you know, a 5-5 five, five flying is quite good. Let's see what he's got for us. Maybe a Mind Rot. Then he takes 6. Oh, a Manolith. Okay. Perfectly fine with that. Drew our Day of Judgment. We knew it was up there, though, because we pondered. <clears throat> Question is, do I stave off if he has another Ring Flesh? Oh, unsummon. Okay, never mind. That's actually pretty good for us. Because now when we drop the dragon, he's much more unlikely to have anything to uh, deal with it. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, their depth gets rid of it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's hope to draw land so we can stave off and assault Griffin. Did not, though. Hmm. I guess I attack with both, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually just trade there. That's fine with me. I'm going to divinate here and uh, play the Stormfront Pegasus. I was just assuming I drew land, though. <laughs> this makes us uh, have the Assault Griffin plus Stave off next turn, so that's pretty nice. Alright, opponent has four mana. He has some good cards, so it seems. But uh, he was stuck on two land for a while, so... In that regard, not good for him. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trade off the Warpath Ghoul. I'm actually okay with that. I'm going to save the stave off for uh, our Assault Griffin. Um, and I'm not going to play the land there, because if he mind rots, well, then I'm just going to discard the planes and probably the Day of Judgment. Uh, you could have made a case to play the Siege Mast on there while playing the planes, but uh, then we're a lot more vulnerable to, say, mind rot, or um, him playing like a reassembling skeleton or something, something that can just block the ground. Child of Night and Azure Mage. Yep, that's fine. So now we can go ahead and lay out the uh, Siege Mastodon and the and hold back Stave off. Uh, he's gonna draw. He's gonna have to draw something pretty good to come back from this one. Because as it stands, he's leaf or he's dead on board. Um, even with the gain two life of the child of night, so he's going to have to have a removal spell or a way to pump the child. But even if that's the case, we have the stave off to uh, stop any shenanigans. Uh, 
<sighs> Excuse me. Hmm. Alrighty, what's he doing here? Bell Tower Sphinx. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess, but uh, we're just going to stave off the Assault Griffin for blue. And uh, that should do it. That was a nummy play. I think I'm going to start saying that catchphrase. That was nummy. Numot the nummy. That was Numot the nummy. <laughs> Alright, that's cheesy, I know. But i got to have a phrase, I suppose. Um... I guess we could probably sideboard in the Crown of Empires. We did see the Bell Tower Sphinx, and that kind of stops us pretty well. I mean, we do have Pacifism O-Ring, but... Other than that, I don't think I'm really going to want to add anything. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just run with this again. And we'll be back for game two. Alright, this time our opponent chose to play last. Ugh, and we have... A pretty sketchy hand. Um... He put us on the play, though, so we'd have to draw... We have, like, a 50% chance of drawing one of our lands next turn. Um, so risky, though. I almost want to keep this hand. I mean, I think you should probably mull this every time, but with one land we can play... With any land we can play the Stormfront Pegasus, and then... Um, either the Armored Warhorse or the Merfolk Leader. Hmm. So sketch. If we were on the draw, I think I'd keep it. But, you know, having like a 48% chance, ugh. Does not seem good. Yeah, I'm going to have to ship this back. Alright, well, I'm going to keep this hand. It's not very good, though. We do need to draw... Do need to draw planes pretty badly. But, uh... If we can get the planes, or if we can hold off for a little while, we should be okay. Luckily, like clockwork, <laughs> drew, our, or drew our planes. It's probably going to get ring-fleshed. Yep. So, you know, we're sitting in an okay spot. Definitely not good. Um, hopefully he doesn't have, like, a distress or something. Because right now, I think our game plan is just hold off until Day of Judgment can hit. I didn't play the Oblivion Ring there. It's probably a good idea, too, but I think I'm just going to try to get the most value out of the Day of Judgment I can. Well, that's unfortunate. Ponder's a good draw, though. Hmm. How badly do I... Yeah, we're going to keep this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to O-ring the uh, Crown of Scepters, or Crown of Empires. I'm more worried about that card than anything else. He can keep laying out creatures. I'm just going to actually draw go here and pretend I don't have anything. Um, I'm going to take one more hit from his guys, but uh, I'm just trying to bait out a few more creatures for the day. Yikes, he passed the turn. Okay, well, I'm going to pop it now. Guess I should have probably popped it last turn, but that was a risk I was willing to take. Ah, he's not drawing anything, so that's good for us. And we can play out the Siege Mastodon. Probably shouldn't have played the land there, just in case he mind rots us. We could have been able to get rid of two lands as opposed to uh, Spirit Mantle and land. But he didn't have anything. So we're just going to try to get there with our Siege Mastodon. Unsummon? Yeah, alright, we'll give it Pro Blue. Hope he doesn't have anything else, because that was our last trick. And now he has four mana, so he's going to be able to do quite a bit of stuff. Divination, sure. No two drop? Alright, that's sweet. That's not sweet. We need to draw something a little land. Hmm, I wonder what would have happened if we had kept that one land hand. Ah, oh, well, we'll never know. See, I could be at six more life if I had just popped the Day of Judgment a turn earlier. Ooh, 